another one. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want to show you guys where I find the stocks that I trade pre market and after hours so a lot of you guys have been asking me that question like hey mr v where do you get the stocks that you trade so i kind of want to show you guys uh that in today's video but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so um let's jump right in and i'm going to walk you guys through the process where i get these stocks again um some people uh have gap scanners that they pay for that you can actually uh, you have a monthly subscription that you can set up and scan for these stocks or you can use free tools like Finviz um, to kind of scan for for stocks. But in this case, what we're going to use is the, the Weibo uh, Gap Scanner and, and, and specifically the one that is preset by Weibo. So uh, right now, they'll give you a list of uh, specific stocks that are gapping that day uh, based on the percentage change, based on the volume and also based on uh, the market size. So we, I go there every morning and, and take a look and then see which ones I like um, and then add it to my my watch list and then um, right after the market closes I go there as well I look at which ones I like and which ones are gapping I add them to my watch list and then I can go in and start looking at hey looking at the charts and see if um, there's a good entry point I look at the volume if it's good enough for me to jump in and trade them so that is how I do approach it so let's jump right on the computer here and I'm going to show you guys um, step by step how you can go find those stocks so basically um, once you log into your Weibo app, um, I want you to go to your main home screen here. Um, so this would be like the, the Weibo uh, web app. So once you log into the Weibo web app, um, you come here, you're going to see something like this. At the very top here, there's home, market, trade, pricing, download, and help. Um, I want you to click on the market tab. So right there, once you click on the market tab, you're going to see on the right uh, side here, there is what you call extended hour uh, ranking so this is where I want you to go so when you see this particular area if you click on extended hour ranking it's gonna bring up you know the full list of the stocks that are gapping there so um, right now this is after hours I'm, I'm recording this video is I think it's 4 p.m. central time so the market is closed market closes at 3 p.m. Uh, central time so um, now these are the stocks that are gapping so I can actually see I look at this list I usually take a look at the first uh, top five on this list and I'll add them to my watch list and then um, slowly come back because this, this list the good thing about this list is that it keeps updating um, if there's a new stock that's gapping even higher it would move it to the top of the list so right now uh, DRAD is the top gapper um, after market so and then I'll add this to my list and then see right here there's um, HJLIW so that's the second uh, gapper so I'll add this to my list so I'll just simply take the, the, the ticker symbol here and then I go into my trading platform here um, again, this is in, in Weibo. So if you go on that, if you click on trade, where it shows you right here, uh, you can definitely it will bring you to this screen where you can decide which ones you want to trade. So if you, as you can see, I already have D R A D added to my uh, watch list. But if I didn't have it added to my watch list, what I'll simply do is I'll come here and I'll say I'll just put the ticker symbol there D R A D and um, you look at this, it would say add to your watch list. So I'll click on that and then the watch list comes up. So in this case, it's in my daily watch. So I'll just select that and then it will populate on my daily watch. So you can see here, I'll show you this drop down. So I have all these different um, lists that I've created. So you can also create your own list if you wanted to. So again, all you have to do is enter the ticker symbol there. So in this case, again, D R A D. Uh, if I say I want to add that to my watch list, so I'll come here, just select the watch list that I want to add it to, and then it would add it for me, and that's it. I now have it on my watch list, so I can go in and out of that stock and take a look at it, um, switching between that and other stocks. So again, this is the watch list I have created. So at this point, I'm looking at the stock. I can look at the chart. I can see what's going on there. Um, I can see right here that uh, right after the market closed, see how this thing squeeze and that's why it shows up on the gap scanner because um the market closed it was trading at about two let's see right here at about 250 two dollars and fifty cents um as soon as the market closes see look at that look at that gap 
it gaps all the way up to three dollars and some change and three dollars about fifty three dollars and forty cents actually and then see had a little pull back here just kind of you know uh, run along vwap in this case consolidation you're just waiting for it to pop again uh it made a little pop here and then pull back and then pop and then right now it's looking like it wants to pop so if if i were um re getting ready to trade this stock i would start looking at this um particular setup here to see uh, where it gives me a good entry um to trade it so what i would look at is uh, right at the bottom here, I look at the RSI. RSI is showing me 61, so um, not overly uh, bought. And then also, I'm looking at MACD and um, and Signer here. Uh, MACD and Signer are kind of running together. Um, again, in my in my setup here, my MACD is. Um, the yellow line and my signal is the red line. So uh, again, I think I've done a video here on this channel where I did explain to you guys how that works. So when MACD, which is uh, which you see here, the yellow line, if it's on the upside, like you see right now, in that case, it's, that's kind of the setup that I, I know that this stock is probably gonna run and then move on the upside. If the MACD was on the, uh, the downside, and then at that, that point, I'm, I'm worrying. So you have convergence and divergence. That's pretty much how the setup works. So here, when you, so if you, again, I'm gonna just explain this slow. Once your signal is on the upside right here, or let's, okay, let me take a step back. When you get here, you see MACD and signal. When they're converging, it means if you have signal coming uh, on the top and uh, MACD coming at the bottom to cross so that MACD could be on the top and Signal could be at the bottom. At that point, that's where you are looking to get in. That's a buy zone for me. If you have divergence where uh, MACD and Signal are crossing so that Signal gets to the top and MACD at the bottom, that is where you are looking to get out. So you use a combination of MACD, RSI, and VWAP and you can determine where you want to get in. So one of the, the things that I've actually noticed uh, a lot about these gappers is that uh, after hours and pre-market, uh, there's usually not a whole lot of volume going around. So um, when you buy these stocks, you have to be very, very careful because um, you can buy them and put your sell price in. It can actually come sit on that sell price and because there's no volume, um, it's not gonna get filled. You, know, you can watch it either go past your sell price and drop and drop and then you start chasing it. So it, you have to be very careful. So don't trade large uh, uh, quantity of stocks uh, during after hours of pre-market because you run the risk of getting stuck with this and not being able to get out of a trade when you want to. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys in this video. Again, uh, the whole concept here is that we both provide these scanners for you. Some people can go and pay, I don't know, 30, 40, 50, even up to about $100 a month to get these gap scanners set up. Um, but I simply just use the, the one that's provided here uh, by Weibo for free. But I'll do a subsequent video where I'll show you guys how I actually set up my personal scanner um, with my own criteria. And I'm gonna show you guys that again here um, on the Weibo platform. So let me know in the comment section, do you use a, a gap scanner? If yes, um, do you pay for it or do you use like the free ones that you you have out there let me again let me know in the comment section so there you go guys as you can see it's very easy for you to be able to find some stocks that you can trade without necessarily spending money on you know subscribing for uh, gap scanner tools or even spending money on a huge um, tool for gap scanning so um, there's a lot of free stuff out there that you can use um, what I've actually done is that I've taken this list and actually compare it with some of the, the, the guys that you subscribe to to get alerts every single day and it actually matches. So I took the top five um, from the Weibo uh, gap scanner, free gap scanner and match it with some of the guys that are sending out alerts that you paid for and it matches every single thing. So the question is, why should I be paying for stuff that I can get for free? I don't know about you. I like anything that's free. Um, free 99 is awesome. So if you want to pay for stuff, go ahead and pay for it. But in the, t in the meantime, 
I'm going to continue using the, the free stock. So there you go, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, just go ahead and smash that like button and the notification bell too. So you don't miss out on new content. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing, um, again, I recommend Weibo as a platform. I'm going to put links in the description below. Check them out. When you sign up, you deposit $100, you get two free stocks, not one, two. So go check them out. And as always, guys, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.